Welcome to the book reading program of 3ABN Australia Radio. Does your faith need a boost? Do you think that miracles only happened in Bible times? Think again. Compiled by Remnant Publications, the book Get Ready for a Miracle recounts true stories that prove that when we step out in faith, God displays His power in undeniable ways. Here is our reader, Harold Harker. This story is entitled, From Suicide to Salvation. Luke 4.18 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Just one more house, I told myself. I'd been knocking on doors all day, sharing my testimony with people and developing contacts for Bible studies. I decided to visit a house with several cars parked outside, hoping there would be a number of people inside. I knocked, and Lester, a large man in his 40s, with a sombre demeanour, opened the door. I shared my testimony briefly, and then asked if I could pray for him. Lester stared silently at me before he told me about his disastrous life. He shared how his inability to work because of a back injury and his enormous debt had driven him to the point of despair and even thoughts of suicide. However, when his wife suggested that he ask God for help, he decided to pray. And here you are today, he finished, telling me about God. Lester felt sure God had sent me to encourage him, and he wanted to study the Bible with me. Early in our studies, he accepted Jesus as his Lord. The world is full of hungry, desperate souls like Lester, starving for an encouraging word or someone to love them and point them to Jesus. Let us pray and ask God how we can be a part in bringing these people to a knowledge of their loving Saviour. A reflection associated with this story comes from the book Education, page 113. God's healing power runs all through nature. If a tree is cut, if a human being is wounded or breaks a bone, nature begins at once to repair the injury. Even before the need exists, the healing agencies are in readiness. And as soon as a part is wounded, every energy is bent to the work of restoration. So it is in the spiritual realm. Before sin created the need, God had provided the remedy. Every soul that yields to temptation is wounded, bruised by the adversary. But whenever there is sin, there is the Saviour. It is Christ's work to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, to set at liberty them that are bruised. This story, From Suicide to Salvation, comes from Boaz Church. It was written on October 1, 2013, and is used by permission of Adventist Frontier Missions. Adventist Frontier Missions seeks to establish indigenous Seventh-day Adventist church planting movements with unreached people groups. For more information, you can look at the website ifmonline.org. You've been listening to the book reading program by 3ABN Australia Radio, featuring Get Ready for a Miracle. For more information about this book, visit remnantpublications.com. Thank you.